I'm very pleased and happy. Ian uh, Gag got you here. I'm very pleased to have you here, and I'm I'm much thankful to you. Uh, you himself wanted to meet, and I wanted to meet too. So when I heard about you like to, I said no. Why not? Most welcome. So I'm very glad and happy to have you here. If I can do anything, any time, for you or for Australia, anywhere in the world, I'm your buddy. You can have me anywhere. Thank you, Jarvis. It's a great pleasure. It's been many years since we got together. Always great respect from me for you as a as a batsman. Great competitor. Best uh, Pakistan batsman that that I've seen play. Your record in Australia is exceptional. Your ability against uh, all types of bowling, but to play fast bowling as well as you did in Australia was uh, was a great credit to you. Now you were always very cheeky. You were always <laughs> quite happy to have a bit of a chat to the bowlers. Not many batsmen from the subcontinent were. because they don't have the heart. <laughs> because they knew if I say something, they might get sick bouncer. <laughs> so those days I never used to worry about that. I used to you know make them in coming to mind to what to do. <laughs> I think when I was playing against you, I think that you wanted to chat because you wanted them to bowl short because that was your strength anyway. So and we talked about it, and it was always hard to get the bowlers to understand that you were quite happy for them to bowl short. We needed to pitch the ball up because that was was more dangerous. But there's one very, very important question that I need to ask. My elder brother Ian and I have been having a discussion for a long time. That day in Perth, you and Dennis Lee, it had been building up for some time for all through that series and and previously. But that day in Perth, you played Dennis down to fine leg. I think Jeff Lawson yeah, was the yeah. fielder. Now you were the best runner between wickets that I ever saw. You could turn one into two better than anyone else, two into three better than anyone else, and you always took off quickly. But this day, you didn't take off quickly. You went slowly, you looked at, at Lawson, and you had the bat here. So the alarm bells were ringing, and I thought, something's up. And Dennis was always one that he liked to have the last word. In his follow through, he started to come back towards you, and you ran in a direction because you knew he would come back. Now, I saw just a little bit of contact with the bat on Dennis. Yeah, it was slightly, you know, because when I was running, because obviously my when I ran after taking the run, my bush and face was other way, and I and as I turned, so Dennis was following. So definitely, you know, it would hit like that, and he just, you know. Yeah. So, but I forget that. And when you go back, Lily is my buddy. We, yeah, yeah, we no, met right. after that. And those days, so many things used to happen. And people can't understand those times. Cricket was very tough. It was. And because was everything way. used to go on. Mm -hmm. Nobody used to take, you know, nobody used to mind. So what it was, yeah, I still remember, you know, where I'm betting. And the first sleeve, Lord, me, everyone is just going on. Can't believe. But these days, you have to play like that. Just you know, put the uh, finger on your lip and keep playing. So these people are not enjoying. No, no. Well, in our not. days, was you know, enjoy and everything because tit for tat. Yeah. Only those people who got the courage and you know, uh, heart. So they used to reply. These days, when they see the quickie ball bouncer and they are going like that, don't have heart. Huh. Well, I think it. We played it tough. I think it was very tough cricket, but I think it was a bit more relaxed because it wasn't our main income, certainly from our point of view. I think it's a lot tougher. Personally, I think the modern era is the toughest time to be a, a batsman because of the three different formats, particularly for young batsmen trying to learn to play. I mean, we had basically the one format in the early part of our career, so we had a chance to learn to bat properly, I, I think it's much harder. But just to finish on the point about Perth, I'd seen Dennis have the last word many, many times, but he never, he never tried to make contact with anyone. And I think just the fact that you gave him a little nudge 
got him angry and got him chasing you and trying to kick you up the backside? Well, I can't remember because I didn't did any deliberate or anything. Maybe because I was turn and something. But it was not like that. Uh, no, 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 no. Anything. But uh, the, uh, the the I think the Australian people they took it because somebody is walking and if you do yeah, yeah. something behind. That was the his fault. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, been going on for a long time. First time I knew if uh, in Australia was different cricket. Mm. It was those days, players who used to play a different, and they were chatting and saying. I remember bowler used to come and bowl and whatever he want to say, he used to say. Mm. And I still remember those days, you know, when I'm playing and when you look at behind, <laughs> everybody is doing something, something like. But that was that time. Cricket was like that, yeah. and it was difficult for the people who coming from you know abroad, some some other country. They're not used to, no. so that's why you know the the sometimes you know clashes goes like that. Right? No, but no. Australia, it, it's a, my favorite country for the cricket because over there wicket is tit for tat, good for bowler, good for batsman. Yes. If you have class. Then you can perform. Otherwise, no. I can say anybody. If I like to judge one of the best, I like to see the person who is scored in Australia. Yes. Because those are we get different. If they can't play over there, I don't make people to be you know take them. Okay, okay. he's all right for us. Very suit him. Any wicket suit him. He he can be you know one of the best. But. If you want to judge one of the best, then you have to go and see everywhere. everywhere yeah. If you perform according to that, so that's why. In our days, like you, you scored in India, you scored in England, Chapel scored, brothers, everybody, whoever the best, they scored all over the world. That's called one of the best and world class cricket. Yeah. Well, it's a great pleasure to be here and to be a guest in your home. Thank you for the hospitality. The, having not been here for 14 years, the change in this country, I think, is very positive. I know the the Prime Minister is doing his, his very best. Amy. He's doing his very best, and it was a great pleasure to meet him the other day. But I get the feeling, moving around the country this time, that there's some confidence and there's some hope. And I expect great things from Pakistan as a country in the next 10, 20 years. I think this can be a great country. On behalf of Pakistan, I really like to thank you, Kay. At least you are the honest, honest uh, person who have given the nice comments. That's why it goes to India also, Kay. I hope that this. Uh, uh, message will go to India also. Okay, look, forget about this all kind of thing. What going on? Come on and start playing cricket sport because it's, sport is a thing which bring the countries together. Absolutely. Yeah. So, as you said, okay, when we were in Australia, Australian love us. Same with India, Pakistan. I don't know. And Imran, as you mentioned, Imran is the person. He has so much. About Australia, can't believe it. Yes. When we used to say, when he played over there, then he used to tell about the Australia. Hey, look, Australia, we were like that and yes. this and that. So, I must say, Australia is a nursery of cricket. Right. Have produced one of the top class cricketers like you, Ian Chappell, Greg Chappell, Dennis Lilly, Thompson, you name it, Richie Beno and everything. Yes. So, I'm very pleased. And thanks, you've been here. If I can do anything, anytime, most welcome. Thank you.